Hey guys, it's Nick from Retro Games HQ, and today I am talking about my top five demo slash early access games I've played this year. Now it's going to be heavy into the monster taming genre, but that's fine. That's why I've been playing this year. And honestly, if you have a hole in your heart for that Pokemon has left you, check these games out. If not, these are still freaking awesome games that you can find in early access or demo mode. Number five is Sky Seeker, which is a monster taming Metroidvania game where every single enemy is a monster that you can catch now your party can only consist of four monsters and here's the thing you control the monster that's pretty cool and it's it works out really well you have certain skills and when you level up you can even get blessings which can like increase your base attack or increase your special things like that or decrease the amount of stamina or i forgot what it was called uh to do your special it's a very interesting game. I've cleared the first bell, which is what you got to do. You got to clear the bells until you get to the sky. Now, number four is Patch Quest. Patch Quest right now is only available as a beta on uh, Discord. You have to go to the Discord and download it. I think it's beta. might be alpha, but it's. I think it's really beta because if it's alpha and it's that well developed, my God. It's very well developed. It's got a lot of content. What's really cool is that... You can just not have a monster and go around. Sure, you know, you can go around defeating these monsters, but that's not going to be fun because what you need to do instead is you need to capture these monsters by throwing out a rope and then circling around them one, two, or three times, depending on their size, and capturing them. And then you level up that species, not that particular monster, but the species overall, and there's up to three different abilities that you get from these things and there's different areas there's like i know there's a forest kind of a sea area there's a like desert area there's like an ice area there's different areas and there's dungeons that you can beat and i've played this on uh stream before so if you want to go check it out you can uh, my previous patch quest streams it's a very relaxing game uh if you just want a relaxing game go for patch quest that's all there is to it it's a relaxing monster taming game that i love the next one's going to be Obomi Nation. That's number three. And I have played a... Well, I've played it on my channel. I've had three runs through their Brutal setting, which realized that all of their settings, even easy, is supposed to be based around a Nuzlocke. You can turn off the Permadeath option, sure, but that's not how it's meant to be played. It's meant to be played even on easy with Permadeath, and you can go up to Brutal, and Brutal is Brutal. Now, the world's procedurally generated, so each time you play, it's going to be different in the map. And you can even start off with different monsters to begin with, or rather, Abomis, as in Abomi Nation. It's a very enjoyable game. That's all there is to it. I, there's a reason why I had a playthrough of it. There's a reason that once I failed, I decided to try again. And when I failed like 10 minutes into that playthrough, I tried again. And I find it very enjoyable. The dev is very into the community. He's constantly making improvements and doing things like that. Uh, I have high hopes for Abomination. Now, number two is Monster Crown. Now, Monster Crown is not, of course, out completely yet. It's obviously an early access game. And it has a retro feel to it 100%. Now, what's real cool about this, if you want to, once the game's out completely, you'll be able to focus on the story. Now, you can focus on the story already. It only goes so far, but the lore is super interesting already because these monsters are treated as monsters. These, The reason why they even get into uh, what's going to be contracts with you is to become stronger, to get to places they couldn't. These are ruthless monsters. Now, canonically, I think there's only one domesticated monster in the whole game. And what's really cool is that I like that you can have multiple moves. You don't just have, like, four moves, and that's all. You can have more. And they're going to have transformations coming up as well. And a huge thing is if you're into breeding, freaking fantastic. You found the game for you. If you're into monster taming and breeding, go get Monster Crown because you can crossbreed and even... When you crossbreed, you get a different sprite and possibly a different color palette. And depending on the topping, it's a different sprite. There's tons and tons of sprites and possibilities and color palettes. There's even a gene lab you can go in, which you can pick which stat comes from which parent. It's just 
a fantastic breeding game if you want to play, if you just want to do it for breeding. And the stats are made easy as well. I love that about Monster Crown as well. Now, this is the one that you will have to pay for, but they're active in the community and they are constantly putting out content. I have zero belief. I think it's a 0% chance that it gets abandoned, period. That is how much they're into the community. That's how much they're committed to the game. And that's how much faith I have in it. I would recommend going getting Monster Crown as it is an amazing game, especially for demo slash early access. And if you love retro games and if you love Monster Taming games, there's many reasons to go get it. It's an all-around fantastic game, hence the number two spot. Now, the number one best demo slash early access game I've played this year is Coromon. Now, Coromon, you can tell, is inspired by a kind of Game Boy Advance sprites, like, you know, graphics. And you can change the intensity on it as well, the difficulty. Like, I played on Intense, and that is you can only capture one, you know, Coromon, per area and you're dead you're dead it's not you faint you faint it's you're dead you're dead your guy actually he, he doesn't die but he does your cormon will leave you if he faints and you can it's more of a pokemon battle mechanics definitely than say abomination or patch quest or even sky seeker but the animations even during the battles amazing the designs are amazing. You can only go up to level 25 and only go up to the like first important part of the story. But I played a ton of it. I love it. I was constantly amazed by something else. I was constantly in love with it. It's just an all-around amazing game, and there's no other way to put it. And that's why it's number one. And so that's my top five games for that have demos out or are in early access that I've played this year. I highly recommend going and checking out each one. I have, will have links in the description below to their Steam page or for Patch Quest their Discord link. Anyways, that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one and retro on.